Hello everybody, Akurai here, and welcome back to another Akurai Talks video, and, well, reintroducing the Ultimate Guide. Now, I know I started the Ultimate Guide, and, um, when I did, I was kind of starting the Ultimate Guide off the, um, you know, the notion of not actually knowing exactly what I want to, uh, do for the, uh, guide itself, so, in general, um, you know, I'm reintroducing it, and I'm going to be talking about it with all the abilities, as well as, of course, my ranking on easy to extremely, uh, or expert, and, of course, I'm going to also be talking about their abilities, like the gun shield, the dome protection, and, in this case, for Gibraltar, the defensive bombardment. So, um, yeah, we're going to be talking about Gibraltar, who, of course, I will be rigging at the, near the end of this guide. But let's talk about, like, Gibraltar in general. Gibraltar is, of course, a tank class, or a defensive class. Which means that, in usual, um, case, he will be mostly defensive. He will be mostly built around defending and fortifying areas. Now, this could be a little bit difficult in the case of, you know, the new map, as the new map doesn't really give you a whole lot of places that could be, like, small traps. Um, a lot of the areas that are in, you know, Apex Legends, especially on the new map, don't have a lot of areas to trap people in. And they aren't really in a defensive location or a place where you could defensively be located. So, I mean, unlike Caustic, who really relies on trapping people in small locations and small areas, you know, Gibraltar, he still relies heavily on being near and where cover is, because, of course, he doesn't have a mobile escape mo move. Um, he doesn't have anything that can give him any kind of mobile escape or mobile mobility, I guess you could say. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I mean, obviously... Gibraltar is not the um, <clears throat> ideal character for people who are looking to be um, mobile base or just in general, you know, just in general, um, you know, in the cases of trying to get out or relocate as quickly as they can. But, you know, let's go ahead and talk about Gibraltar's abilities, shall we? Um, Gibraltar's abilities, of course, are... Something like the gun, or, of course, the gun shield, which is his first ability. Now, the gun shield basically acts as a defensive barrier for Gibraltar, and it acts as his extra line of defense, especially when he is in fights. In, in close quarter areas and in small areas, Gibraltar's shield can really make him a defensive um, mobility spot for, you know for fighting, and it can make him a fairly ideal, um, character to use against, um, you know, to use against certain aspects of the game, and, of course, when it comes down to those certain aspects of the game, obviously, Gibraltar, you know, succeeds and excels in it, but, of course, you know, in general, when he is, you know, an open area, this shield really only comes in handy at longer ranges. And in the case of areas where you don't have to deal with, um, you know, you don't have to deal with, you know, things like, um, <clears throat> things like, you know, whatever you can. You, you don't have to deal with people who are, you know, going to be, um, smashing through your, uh, long or whatever. You know, it's basically going to be, um, things, it's going to basically be where, um, you know, you are, you know, at the end of the day, um, supplying yourself in, you know, in a situation that can cover you, or even just in general, be, um, better for your coverage. I mean, Gibraltar's shield, as it is, can be used as a defensive mobile um, turn in a way, and it does create a sense of stability and a sense of, you know, of course, you know, pr protection. Now, that's 
that's what the, the gun shield does. Is It's good at long range. It's good at protecting you, especially when you can easily get hit by low profiles, you know, from a distance. And, you know, you have some of the biggest hitboxes. Gibraltar has one of the biggest hitboxes. Now let's talk about his second ability, which is, of course, the dome protection. The dome protection, <clears throat> as it stands right now, protects all you and all of your allies from damage. And, of course, now, um, recently it had a buff where it gave you, like, I feel, ink. it was like a 25% faster healing rate inside the dome. So, I mean, in general, the dome of protection basically will protect you and heal you from, you know, all types of um, damage incoming and Unfortunately, it also means that bullets or gunfire cannot get out of the dome, which, I mean, I get it. It creates a mobile, um, if you will, battle arena, and it creates a small arena, arena that you battle in, but I think that, honestly, when it comes down to it, much like one of the concerns I have with Lifeline, I think that the dome of protection should allow allies to shoot out of the dome, and allow bullets to be um, shot out of the dome. Because I think that overall it would make Gibraltar a little more viable. And it would make Gibraltar's abilities a little more useful. Because like as it stands right now. You know with it being that enemies can't shoot in or out of the dome protection. That seems normal. That seems fine. But. I think when it comes down to allies, allies should be able to shoot out of the dome. And, of course, I think allies should be able to, you know, give themselves a little advantage when it comes to, you know, Gibraltar's abilities. Now, I know some people may complain that this would make Gibraltar too powerful. But, I think, you know, being a defensive tank-like character, Gibraltar needs abilities that can make him overpowered. Because, um, you know, at the end of the day, you got characters like Caustic. You got characters like Bangalore. You got characters like, you know, like Octane. You got characters like Bloodhound, who have basically overpowered abilities. And, you know, they don't even get looked at. Respawn doesn't even look at these overpowered abilities. Like, I think Octane's stim pack is way too powerful for what he has. And I think that the increase in movement doesn't, doesn't, or only benefits him. It doesn't really benefit you. Um, characters that have been nerfed, like Rafe, we'll talk about Rafe and her nerf a little bit later on, but I believe, like, characters that have been nerfed, like Rafe, you know, it's kind of like, I don't think Respawn really understands, nor do they realize or think about what they want to do. I think that for them, it's kind of like they're just trying to basically, you know, bring out a game and say, hey, you wanted a BR game, here's your BR title. And because, you know, they, they're they just doing that, you know, obviously it comes down to the players are, you know, they're not focusing on gameplay. I, I know that we'll talk about my concerns about again and some of the things that I think are happening with Apex, but, you know, I think that, you know, the gameplay as it stands is rough right now, especially like with characters like Gibraltar and whatnot. You know, characters like Gibraltar and whatever, you know, the problem with them is that they're not powerful enough. Like, you got Gibraltar, who's supposed to be a defensive tank, a powerful tank that, you know, has not only his defensive bomb bombardment, which is what we're going to get to next, but also his dome shield, and his dome shield is not very powerful, like, I think that the dome shield should allow you to shoot out of, of the coverage, and I think that all bullets from allies should be able to shoot, um, should be able to shoot out from, from the inside the dome, because if they can't shoot out from inside the dome, it makes the dome fairly useless, and it really does what? Only provide protection for for the outside bullets and the in, and people who are trying to get in, or and people who are inside. I mean, you know, again, it doesn't make sense to me. And, you know, at the end of the day, <clears throat> I would say that at the end of the day, you know, 
Apex Legends doesn't make sense. They're, I don't know why, what they're trying to do, nor do I think the developers know what they're trying to do. They're just trying to out, you know, to listen and, you know, provide content or whatever that is for the, you know, that is basically for the, you know, community. It is for the players. And they're not really thinking, like, we should work on gameplay or whatever. You know, you know what I mean? But anyway, you know, let's talk about Gibraltar's defensive ability, the defensive bombardment. This, of course, is his ultimate. And, you know, I think Gibraltar's ultimate is fairly powerful. But I feel that, overall, it's just not very good. Like, considered how long it takes to load or to power it up, I think that Gibraltar's, you know... <clears throat> Ability ultimate is just not long enough to last and it doesn't last long enough to really make you Make it viable for um, you know for you know the ultimate ability I think that it's just kind of a small like here comes the 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 bombardment and it's going to take a long time and because it takes so long to to activate the bombardment well Obviously, you know, you can't, you can't account for the, um, the bombardment to really make it a threat. Like, I feel that it should become more of a threat. Rather, rather in a way that it has a shorter startup and it'll land a lot quicker, thus making people have to, you know, consider the option of moving immediately, or it should be, you know, at its startup time, but make it so damaging that everyone doesn't want to be within the bombardment as it stands. And I think that's the same problem that Bangalore has with her ultimate, is that both these ultimates are just underwhelming. They're not, they're lacking in my opinion. And that's the problem with Gibraltar, is he's lacking. You know, his abilities don't make him feel like a tank. And of course, you know, in some ways, his abilities are just so weak that it doesn't feel like he can soak up aggro as much as he should. And now, maybe this is just me. And, I mean, obviously, you know, this is my opinion. And I think Gibraltar is meant to be uh, an overwhelming tank. He's meant to be, like, if you play him, he's meant to be the threat that everyone's going to be going after. He's meant to be the person that everyone's going to be looking looking to to be like that that enemy that enemy that wants to be targeted. And you know, I mean that this is a perfect valid and valid you know, valid, you know, way of playing Gibraltar. Gibraltar is meant to be that overwhelming powerhouse. He's meant to be the the person that Everyone's going to look towards to, you know, protect them in some way or another. And because everyone's looking to protect them or protect you, you know, because everyone's looking for you to be protect protecting them, you know, I think that he should be feeling like some massive, you know, tank, some massive, you know, panzer unit that just comes in and, you know, is basically, you know, protecting all of the you know, all aspects of the game, you know, and I think, you know, that's kind of how Gibraltar should be played, in my opinion. I think that Gibraltar should be, you know, in my opinion, that character that everyone's kind of like, oh, crap, Gibraltar's here. We have a massive tank that we got to team up against, you know, and that's what I feel like Gibraltar should do. Gibraltar should have a massive, like, Oh crap presence. He should be feeling like that Panzer tank or that Juggernaut tank that just comes in, you know, steamrolling everyone when it comes to damage and just like making everyone feel feel like fear him, fear him in a way and feel like, you know, he needs to be watched over. He needs to be, you know, totally like, oh my gosh. Gibraltar is coming in. We got to team up against this guy. We've got to focus our fire on him. And we got to not worry too much about, you know, everyone else. Because, because you know, Gibraltar is a threat, you know. And that's how I feel Gibraltar should be played. 
So, I mean, like I've said, about his ultimate ability, the defensive bombardment, it's just not very useful. I don't think that it feels like a threat. And, you know, in many ways, I feel like, you know, when you hear an ultimate go off, it should be a threat. If it's someone like Gibraltar, it should be a threat. It should be something that you got to fear. And something that you're just going to go, oh, crap. We got to run. We've got to run. We got to get out of here. You know? And that's just how I feel. Now, let's rate um, Gibraltar. Now, this is my scale rating on Gibraltar. And this is based on how I feel when it comes to playing him. Obviously, I will rate my characters based on easy to expert so that you all know how I feel this person is. And it could be potentially somewhere in between. But, you know, let's start with Gibraltar. And, you know, my rating of him. I rate characters based on how they are. You know, how they feel based on abilities, their um, overall usability, and, of course, in some cases, their fortification. Or, um, you know, or, of course, you could say their profile. Now, these are all valid reasons and ways to evaluate, in my opinion, a character. So, let's go ahead and just start with the basic abilities. In my opinion, Gibraltar's abilities are lacking. And if it came down to five stars, or, yeah, or in some cases, yeah, five stars, you know, Gibraltar, in my opinion, is lacking. And I feel that with all of his abilities combined, let's just start with basically, um, you know, talking about his abilities in a solo one-off stand. So when it comes to Gibraltar's defensive shield. I think that this is a great ability. I think that this is something that. You know is very very usable. For Gibraltar. I think when it comes down to it. Gibraltar really does stand a good. A good um, play. And stand, chance. When you have his. Defensive shield up. This makes him a defensive tank to a degree. Now, while I wish it would last, it was a little stronger, and I wish that it made him a little more fortifying, you know, I think that right now, as it stands, Gibraltar's shield is rated at a three stars. Now, this is fairly average, honestly, because it just doesn't feel, it feels underwhelming. It just doesn't feel like something that you'd want to have on your side. It just doesn't feel like you can defend yourself or your team with this armor on all the time. I think that personally could use a little buff. But overall, when it comes down to distance fighting, Gibraltar's shield really does make him a threat among everyone. And a threat among all the um, players out there. Now let's talk about defend his um, dome. His dome placement or his defensive dome. Gibraltar's defensive dome I think could use a little work. And as you all know, I don't like the defensive dome for say. I mean, that could use work and it could be using something like, for instance, allies can shoot out of a, out of the, from the inside, out, out into the, from the inside. Like Gibraltar can shoot his um, gun while he has his defensive shield up. Um, in my case, this is a uh, two stars currently. Overall, I just feel that Gibraltar's Dome Shield is useless. And, I mean, I give it a two stars because there's not many uses for it other than to heal your your teammates and have your teammates be protected by it for a short period of time. Overall, it's just useless. Abil it's just a useless ability that really, in my opinion, just doesn't live up to the standard or, you know, what it should. And... You know, I feel that if they want to make it better, you know, make it to where allies or teammates can shoot from the outside of it and also make it to where it has a life dur durability. Um, instead of have it having a, for instance, time, durability, time duration, I think that Gibraltar's, you know, Gibraltar's defensive ability or the dome shield should have a dur durability. It should have, like, I don't know, 5,000 health. 5,000 health before it breaks. So if you start shooting from it, you know, basically, you, you know, Gibraltar can throw down the dome shield. It has 5,000 durability. 
And at that point, you know, Gibraltar's dome shield can start cooling down. Maybe they'll have a 10, 15, 20 second cooldown. But, you know, if it has that dur- dome shield durability, it means that, you know, you can place multiple dome shields up. And have multiple points of defense. Multiple tactical strategy, strategies for it. But that's why right now I give the Dome Shield a two stars out of, you know, a two stars overall out of five. Now let's talk about his defensive bombardment. Overall, I think the defensive bombardment is okay. It's not bad. But I wish it had a better startup. And I really wish it had, or I wish it had more of a damaging boost. I mean, in general, I think that the defensive bombardment works, but it really does need a faster startup or more damage. This way, it can feel like more of a threat. This way, it can be more of a, like, oh my goodness, we gotta get out of here, you know, kind of idea. But, you know, in general, I'd give the defensive bombardment for Gibraltar about three stars. Now, let's go to the overall rating of Gibraltar. In general, I just don't feel Gibraltar is a useful character. And I feel that overall, he just doesn't have any particular practicality. Um, You know, and this is why, in general, I rate Gibraltar about three stars overall out of five. Like, three stars out of five, that's my overall rating for Gibraltar. Now, as far as difficulty... I think he's easy to use. I think he is an easy character to play. And I think he's a very easy character to use. And you should consider using him as your first um, your first character. Uh, just to get your feet wet in the game. But in general, I just don't find a use for him. And I think in general, my overall rating of Gibraltar is about 3 stars. He's just not very good. He's not very useful. And he really doesn't have anything that makes him shine right now. But hopefully, if Respawn hears these um, suggestions of mine, maybe Gibraltar will become a character that will be used and will be more viable and will be someone that I will re-review. But with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me today on this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, get subscribed, hit the bell notification, because I know you want to know when my next video drops next. Thank you everybody for joining me today on this video. Thank you for watching this video. I am live on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash Akurai. I am live on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, You know, and usually it's about four to five hours, but usually, um, you know, but lately I've also been live on Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday I'm live usually about two to three hours. But yeah, with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me today. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Come join me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash Akurai. And hopefully this has helped you um, in general when it comes to playing Gibal- or learning about Gibraltar. Um, part 2, we'll talk about the weapons that I personally think he can use. And also, you know, all the other little minor things that could help him. And make you a better player for Gibraltar if you decide to use him. But with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, everybody, this is Sakurai signing out and saying farewell.